This video will give you important basic tips on using RoboDance's Wiimote interface including instructions on how to use the Wiimote Map Editor. The Wiimote Map Editor is the part of the system that you use to assign commands to each particular button on the Wiimote, thereby creating your own custom interface for your robot. Don't worry, each robot comes with a default map so you can start playing with your robot using the Wiimote immediately. But, when you are ready to change things to suit your own needs, the Wiimote Map Editor is there. You will find it is also a great way to practice controlling your robot with the Wiimote a little later in this video. There are two buttons on the Wiimote that cannot be changed. These are the Wiimote A and B buttons. This is the Wiimote A button. It acts as a shift button just like the shift key on your computer keypad. This is the Wiimote B button, the one that looks like a trigger. It sends a stop command to your robot. No matter which robot you are using with RoboDance, you can always use the B button to stop it. You can tell which state the Wiimote is in, normal or shifted, by looking at this row of blue LEDs at the bottom of the Wiimote. If they are all flashing together in unison, like this, then you are in the unshifted or normal state. If they are flashing alternately between the leftmost pair and the rightmost pair of LEDs, like this, then you are in the shifted state. Watch them change as I press the shift button a few times. It's time to show you the Wiimote Map Editor. This is the main screen. This part of the screen is known as the work area. At the center is a drawing of a Wiimote. Extending from each button on the Wiimote picture is a red line that goes to the assignment box that represents each particular button. For example, this is the Wiimote left button and here is the assignment box for it. As you can see it is currently set to trigger the left command. Note these little round holes on the screen are known as radio buttons. At the upper left corner you can see the button state box. This box contains two radio buttons, one labeled normal and the other shifted. Currently the work area is set to the normal state. In the normal state you can see that I assigned the forward command to the Wiimote forward button, the backward command to the back button, the left command to the left button and the right command to the right button. A common arrangement for most of the robots you can control with RoboDance. The robot I am using with RoboDance for this video is a Robo Reptile, but what I am showing you works for defining a Wiimote map for any robot. Only the specific command names will change based on the robot being used. Here's what the Robo Reptile robot does when I press the left and right buttons. As you can see he turns left and right. Now I'm going to click on the radio button in the button state box that changes the state of the editor to the shifted state. As you can see, all the button labels changed color to let you know that you are in the shifted state. In the shifted state, the Wiimote forward and back buttons are the same, but the left and right buttons have changed to trigger the Robo Reptile head left and head right commands. Here's what the Robo Reptile robot does when I press the left and right buttons since we are now in the shifted state. As you can see, he moves his head left and right. A very cool feature of the editor is that when we entered the shifted state, the Wiimote registered the change as you can see by the LED pattern on the bottom of the Wiimote which is currently flashing the shifted state pattern. You don't have to have the Wiimote on when you are in the editor, but it's a lot more fun if you do, especially when you are testing your changes. By keeping the editor synchronized with the Wiimote and vice versa, you can be confident that what you see on the screen matches what will happen when you press a button on the Wiimote. Note, if you press the shift button on the Wiimote, this too will change the work area between the normal and shifted states. Let's change the definition of the left and right buttons in the shifted state. We'll make the Robo Reptile move his tail left and right instead of his head. First, while staying in the shifted state, I'll position the cursor over the assignment box that represents the left button on the Wiimote. You can tell which one it is by the red line that ties it to the left button on the Wiimote picture. Now I'll click on the radio button so I can change the current command assignment. Up comes a new screen called the command picker. 
The command picker has several tabs. Each tab contains several robot commands grouped by their similarity in function. These are the same groups that you will see when in the script editor and the voice control system too. The first tab is the My Commands tab. It shows you a list of all the scripts you have created. What is very cool about this is that you can have the Wiimote activate scripts you created with RoboDance at the press of a button. But for now, I'm going to select the Advanced Movement Commands tab since it contains the Tail Strike Left and Tail Strike Right commands. This is a good time to stop and show you two items at the bottom of the page called the Target Button Label and the Shift State checkbox. It's easy to forget what Wemo button you are defining when you are working with the Command Picker. Anytime this happens, just look at this area of the page. This label shows you the Wemo button we are currently defining. And this checkbox tells you if we are in the normal or shifted state. Note that the color of these two items will always match those of the assignment boxes in the work area. Since I'm currently defining the Wiimote left button in the shifted state, I'll select the tail strike left command from the list of available commands. Everything looks fine so I press the OK button to accept the new definition. Now I'll quickly repeat the process but this time I'll be changing the definition of the Wiimote right button to the tail strike right command. You can see that the editor updated the map to show my new definitions. I'll save my changes now by pressing the Save Map button. Watch what happens when I press the left and right buttons while in the shifted state. Instead of moving his head left and right, now the Robo Reptile moves his tail left and right. It's that easy to tailor the Wiimote to any robot commands you desire. As mentioned before, you can even have scripts you created triggered automatically when you press a button on the Wiimote. Since the editor and the Wiimote stay in sync at all times, the Wiimote Map Editor is a great place to see what the current settings are for your Wiimote and to practice controlling your robot with them.